What is up, LC Heads? I think it's time for some redemption with Neil. That's right. Niall. Whatever her beautiful name is. Uh, so, I made a video as soon as this hero dropped, just letting everybody know exactly how MP hungry she is. Nothing's changed. She's still just as MP hungry. <laughs> and it was simply just a, a, a simple warning. Uh specifically for like newer players that really um you know don't break the bank over a hero that you can't really fully utilize because uh she is going to take like kind of a veteran account to really shine in my opinion um also i'm just gonna go ahead and say i think she's the highest scale scaling character or no i i should say that a different way um she has the most scaling promise in Last Claudia right now. Um, the hero that used to have the highest scaling, this is all just IMO in my own scale. <laughs> scaling on my own scale. Uh, I was actually Rem, because Rem was always going to get stronger as long as they kept adding hit points to the gear and hit points to the abilities and hit points to... So it was always like, cool, you know, they gave Rem something because she plays off of her hit point total. So as gear gets added to the game with more hit points, as different abilities get added to the game that give you, oh, here's another 10% to your health. Well, to a hero that can cultivate 30,000 hit points, 10% is a hell of a lot more. I mean, it, it really helps scale the character up. And, you know, Rem was just always cool because of that, I thought. So there was like a scaling factor involved. Well, same thing with Nail here. Um, her scaling factor is just going to be MP, right? I might as well cover her versus Alice right now. In my opinion, Alice can dump her special over and over again. Alice uses skill charge to power her special. It's easier to get skill charge than it is MP. Okay, it's much easier to get skill charge than MP. Uh, Alice can also auto special. She can apple pie her special. This girl cannot, right? So you're going to either have to use an arc to get her to drop her special instantly, or you're just going to have to wait for it, or you're going to have to use some abilities that charge special on boss wave, 30% or this or that, and then you're still going to be fighting the clock right you might be able to start the fight and have her like if you don't have the arc that automatically lets you throw her special you might be able to start the fight and have i don't know her special close to halfway charged or something like that i i know there's some ways to do it with sc uh phone booth or something like that is an ability that's going to give you like 20 percent of your special on the boss wave right so that, so there's ways of like kind of shortening the clock right um but alice alice is just like nah i'll just apple pie that and then somebody else can apple pie me so that all my kit is completely full and now i can dump that for max damage right and then somebody can apple pie me again and i can get all my skills back right alice is also pretty damn quick to charge her special as well so um yeah like I was saying, as far as the scaling, I feel like as soon as they add some sort of crazy MP battery to the game, that's just like, here, here's, you know, here's 500 MP at a time. Uh, this character would really be able to take advantage of that um, in a crazy way, right? Uh, I've been kind of building her to try. This is, this is here. I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm going for here. I, I think the best build for her right now is to be able to use your special and your skills. And the only way to do that is to scrounge up MP any way that you can along the way. So I wasn't crying over her paid gear. Her gear isn't, her paid gear is 50 creds and it is a robe. <coughs> it's pretty awesome. It's giving you 30% more damage, 10% more SCT. So it's got haste built in. It's got damage built in off of her skills it's highly applicable you're going to be using her skills all the time so that's 30 percent more damage that's going to proc all the time it's got great stats on it 
Right. Uh, the only thing is, it's not actually doing anything for MP. This Holy Robe Soul Fine Fiend uh, is actually doing something for MP. Permanent HP MP regeneration effect. And honestly, that is such a big deal. The stats on this are alright too. So at least the stats kind of compete with her robe. But just having, you know, 25 MP, 25 MP here and there is going to help this girl's damage so much more because she'll just be able to actually use more of her skills. Um, that's the way that I see it. Um, every passive MP regen along the way uh, is just going to be bigger numbers she can put up on the board for you. And I think we'll see that, right? I I'm going to run her real quick and show you guys kind of how, how this mode with her plays. Uh, we have the Kingdom of Science flag. Again, This the Science flag is probably going to stay on her. I'll be fully honest with you. Um, I chose to build Gen out. And uh, she wants to actually compete with Gen over some gear. Like, I actually had this robe on Gen, right? Um, so she has it now. Uh, the Kingdom of Science flag was on Doctor Strange. I'm not really using him that much, so, like, that's cool, but most players aren't going to have the Kingdom of Science flag laying around, especially new players, and the whole reason we're using the flag of science here, obviously there's, you know, 200 intelligence there, and that's what her stuff scales off of, but any any uh, staff will pretty much give you something like that. We're here for the trait, greatly boost physical attack damage based on intelligence. So, yeah, this is going to boost your physical damage based on intelligence. Her physical damage doesn't get increased by her intelligence. Her skill damage does. So this is going to let you tap into that intelligence for your basic attack. And the, like that's part of the reason we were having problems in the first video I made talking about how MP hungry she was. Basic attack sucks, and she cannot scale any MP off of it. She was getting 5, 6 MP at a time. That's just nothing for her, right? So this is going to let you get um, bigger damage with your basic attacks, and you're going to scale more MP when you proc Goddess Kiss off of more basic attack damage, right? We're also going into skills here. Uh, we're going to run it in the white lab, and I took a sorcerer killer, and I think that's going to help this girl a lot. So we will see the difference between a killer and no killer, right? And obviously, if you're taking her to a single target boss, where you're going to be fighting something, hopefully you have a killer lined up for that fight. Like, if you're fighting a machine, you can bust out machine killer for 4 SC, that's going to scale her basic damage up, and you are going to be getting even more MP. I dare say it. I dare say it. I think uh, I think with the killer, we might be able to uh, goddess kiss a whole 40 MP at a time instead of 20, which it does not sound like much, but that actually adds up very quickly, and you guys will see. Other than that, we have the Halloween hat just because of the intelligence, and it's going to get sorcerer type she's sorcerer anyway so chance to nullify enemy anti-sorcerer type that's nice and we have the moon pearl for more mp and mp five percent because we need mp so bad right i'll quickly just let you guys kind of look over what i got i need to get that fast speed ability for one sc definitely wouldn't mind having some speed with her to run around with while my mp charges up here and there but we're pretty much just like MP up. Uh, we're taking all the MP up so that we can. We have encouragement, right? The, I guess the idea here is we can burn through at least half of our MP. And then by the next wave, we'll have all of our MP back. So like it gives me a range of MP to play with and clear waves out. Uh, and next wave, I'm going to start with my MP fully charged anyway. However, 
if I completely deplete my MP on wave one, on wave two, I'm only going to start with like 50% MP. So I'm only going to be half charged for wave two. So if you can balance that with things like encouragement, right? I have reincarnation here just for the fun of it. Like that is just, there we go. Should probably just do that. Physical attack damage plus 20% buff. Uh, yeah, might as well do that. Um, yeah, anything like Infernal Demons, which is defense of mine minus 10%, add the amount to strength. She's not really using her strength uh, for anything. Your skill damage is coming off of your intelligence, right? More MP up, resolve up, some proud force, passive healing along the way. Here's our killers. Right, so far we only have Soldier Killer, Night Killer, Sniper Killer, Sorcerer Killer. Uh, probably changing it to so Soldier Killer would be more effective uh, for what we're running. I'm choosing to go with Sorcerer Killer so we can actually see the difference. I think there's only one or two Sorcerers that you fight along the way. There is one on the last wave, he's a bastard. So we will be able to target him and see how much MP we're getting back from our basic attacking him. All right, besides that, we're just cranking up our magic stat. A little bit of physical damage healing I took here, just to kind of get me through. Probably swap that out with besties in a team, right? Demon Lord Awakening, something I was messing around with, right? Uh, name giving, I'm, it, it's, it's a placeholder because I feel like she's going to have name giving. I'm just going to leave it on her if she's actually fulfilling that support healer role for me where I have one character that can heal here and there now and she can now okay because I can actually get back some of my MP so I can use some of her passive support stuff along the way before this when I was really choked up for MP it was like I don't even want to use her uh her what what is it in excitement ability or whatever because it costs 30 mp like i, I want to save that for the next wave right so we have special breakthrough two special damage cap 3k why not wicked weave special damage to bosses 20 percent and damage cap 2k we'll take that uh anything that is just damage plus 20 percent or any percent we will take as long as it doesn't say uh what is it Anything that has to do with your strength or your physical physical attack bonus. Um, because, again, she's using intelligence for all of her skills. But Wicked Weave works great for that boss. So, you know, for a boss, I'm probably going to want to take a Slayer for that boss and a Killer for that boss if, I'm, if I can actually match those up. Uh, we have the phase change in here. Boost regular attack damage based on intelligence. Yes, you're going to have to take phase change if you really want a chance at getting some MP back. I know. I know it's painful. We also have Gaze of the End because, well, she spans multiple elements, and this is going to give you minus 10 to all of them, so it just works out well. She's a good carrier for that, in my opinion. Right? And that's it. That's what we have on her. All right? So, actually, I think the last time we went through here... Oh no, last time we went through here we had a little bit less at sea, and we was, we was just trying to scrape by, let's get back in there, and we just couldn't because we like legitimately ran out of MP. So we're going to be able to get through this now, but what we're paying attention to is actually our MP, right? Operating in that cushion of MP where next wave you're going to have your MP fully back charged and you know it, you can count on it. Uh, and this build is going to not only let you use her special, but hopefully balance in some of her skills as well and really get some good damage out of her. Like I think if you're rocking with both, I mean she can do a lot, especially if she keeps uh, summoning her little allies, they just seem to do a lot. I do also have a dirty trick to use here at the very end just to get a little bit more out of our special. Uh, I do recall that she has 
some sort of revivability where once you get your ass beat enough and you're almost dead, she gets a full heal and then she gets a pretty high stat boost. And then, in my mind, that's like probably the best time to drop her special. Her intelligence goes from like four and a half thousand to like six and a half thousand, something like that. So, <clears throat> damn, sorry. We were starting off with the enema because it doesn't cost anything, and I was already bitching about not wanting to use Magma Insider and Giga Weekend and all that stuff because it costs MP. Well, I don't feel that way anymore. I can use these because I'm 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 getting more than five MP back at a time. Matter of fact, is there a mage here? He is a sorcerer. Okay. So we'll S1. And then we will basic attack. And we're getting 16. They're interrupting us pretty good. S1. 30. We just scored a 30 per hit. Um, at 30 MP, after a couple hits, you get 100 back. You can do something with that. Oh. When they're all bunched up. Oh, that S3 just racks. That S3 just racks. Now... We're at 428 MP, right? We're within our little safety nut zone. Because we get like 40-50% of our MP back on the next wave. So we're starting with, you know, our MP fully jacked up and good to go. Throw that enemy again. We're going to want to... Uh, we're going to want to use our S3 here. I think these jellies are weak to uh, dark. But this is cool because now, you know, I'm using Magma Exciter, Giga Week, and all that stuff. And I don't feel like it's hurting me that bad, right? What are we getting? 16, 18, 22, 21. It's not bad. We just got like 100 MP back fairly quickly. Yeah, this girl, just her S1, S2. I mean. They're strong. They're strong when you can empower them, right? If you can keep empowering them and dropping them, wow. So wow, here we are at the boss fight already. We'll use our Magma Exciter. Yeah, let's Giga High Nemesis this shit. That would pretty much be for your other teammates anyway, because you're, for the most part, attacking your opponent's mind. I do believe high nemesis is what... Oh, it is mind. It's not defense. Okay, so, yeah, that's awesome for her. So, who do we have targeted? So, we will target the mage for our awesome MP up, right? Um... Here's the thing, though, as far as dropping her special, if we didn't have that arc right now, look at where we're charged. We're like a quarter of the way charged. We might be like halfway, maybe three quarters if we took phone booth and try to went that way with it. Um, so that's, you know, you should keep that in mind, too, is you're not always just going to be able to lead with her special. The S1, what are we getting? 39. Okay, so we're at like that 40 mark. Also, I think he did just kill us. Yeah, because we're at over 6,000 intelligence. Right, so now would probably be the good time to uh, drop our special. And really, that's what this build reflects, is what can we get away with after we drop our special? All right, we're going to be able to sacrifice our 750 MP, 766, see, 790 we're going to be able to sacrifice everything. We're going to do awesome damage with this special, right? Shabam, eat my killer. Oh. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, folks. Uh, pretty much what happens is I usually... Um, I just about annihilate them, and then the fight keeps going. Right? <laughs> Uh, and then it's all about how much MP can I get back to actually use on my skills. So, 
I think we'll we'll just rerun this real quick. And uh, yeah, I didn't mean to kill him that quick, right? <laughs> I just, I guess I will use the special when, uh, when I don't have all my stat, uh, boosts from almost dying. But you know what, let's waste, let's waste as much MP as we can here. We, right, she can also heal, so also, you know, there's... What's that little ability that lets you restore some SCT every time you're healing somebody? She can bank off of that and kind of charge up her kit. I don't think you're going to have that hard of a time actually charging her kit. It's just going to be getting that damn MP. So look at that. We're just trying to waste MP now. We're healing ourselves. Can we get our MP back? We just got 43. We just got 50 more, we're at 790, we're at full. So we could start dumping our kit. Right, we are full supported. Now we're at 5,020 intelligence without almost dying, so. And yeah, just her, her skill hits hard when she does the little summons. Here comes the, here comes the S3. Look at their health just melt. Lock onto the mage. We're not topped off on MP. Look at that. Took four basic attacks to, to get some MP. So you're still going to have to work for it even if you got uh, the killer applied, right? But I'm seeing that we are at least regenerating 40 MP uh, when it's hitting. If you get lucky, get a couple hits in, you're at 80. Uh, the robe is constantly regenerating like 20 at a time. All of that adds up. And uh, as we get more heroes that have the ability to just give out magic points, I really think you're going to be able to dump way more with her. Uh, just look at that. This shit's just melting, right? Now, it did just cost me half my MP just to just do what I did. Let's see if I can work my way up a little bit. Yeah, the sorcerer is dead. Right? The sorcerer is dead. So off of this thing, I'm getting what? What am I getting per hit? 16. 22 regen. 23, 16, 24. So, like, not bad against a machine. I'm getting 23 MP per hit that activates. Okay. Right? There's no machine killer on her. The machine killer seems to, I mean, I think it would get me to about maybe close to 40 regen per hit. That, that's a big deal. That's a big difference. Like, she's going to be able to turn so much more damage with that extra 20 MP here and there. I think it's really going to add up. So, uh, let's just drop our special before we're all super buffed. And we'll see if we can make a comeback after actually throwing a special. Right, because then you could feasibly run this hero, throw her special, and then just switch over to another hero. Put in some work with that hero. And while you're doing that, she's going to be regening some MP. We're at zero. Um, yeah, we got a mage locked in. It's best case scenario. We have... A killer a mage killer so here we go basic attacks we got 35 MP out of that oh we got frozen she does recover pretty quick from that so we're at 118 MP after getting our ass beat like that 
We just got an S3 interrupted. That sucks. Summoner's actually going to use a summon. Now remember, we have another special to throw right now because of the arc. It did not charge that quick. 16. Ooh, that was just some bad luck. Goddess Kiss is not proccing. There we go. We're at 141. 191, 228, 244, 271. We're at enough to drop an S3 and just rock the Kazba. Unfortunately, we had the mage targeted. Something to keep in mind. Obviously, whoever you're targeting, uh, that's where the, the damage is going to be. Every Everything in her kit is a snipe move. So... The S2 just to push everybody back. We're at 55 MP. Oh, the mage is still alive. All right, so our uh, our MP our MP pool is gone. The mage is gone. We're not getting any killer bonuses. We're we're simply relying on that science flag. And our our cloth to get some MP back here. But you guys can kind of see how it goes, right? At least I'm able to throw an S3 now that's actually in power that's going to do damage, right? I can take 15 seconds to do some basic attacks, and then I can actually throw my kit that is empowered, right? And this is only going to get better. It's obviously going to be better if I run her with Gen in the party, and Gen is giving her more MP on top of that. We're solo running this, right? So, I mean, obviously, the party's gonna be able to help her with some MP, hopefully. Uh, the thing is, her and Gen, at least on my account, they're kind of fighting over some of the same damn gear. Um, yeah, so, uh, we'll have to see what I do with Gen. I do think she wants the robe more than him. Um, in fact, and he's just gonna be there to help her get even, even more MP, right? Uh, so yeah, um, this is what I think of this hero. She is strong. She is definitely powerful. I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression because I was just trying to be really honest in the last video and it was kind of like, you know, if you expect the same modularity and power level straight out of the box, I don't think all people can expect that from this hero uh, because again, you're going to need a bunch of stuff just to be able to get this to... Uh, scale and to have any chance to get some MP. Now, does that mean that she's worthless without all this stuff? No. Um, you could run her just as a special nuke. If you have the UR arc that lets you summon it instantly for, for a lot of things, she's just going to do so much damage with her special that the fight's just going to be over after you throw that thing. Right? Um, or, you know, you could just go the skill way. Right? Um, if you can't do your special instantly, you could just build her up to be a skill thrower. Uh, her skills do substantially awesome damage, you know, and you're just going to drain your MP that way, and hopefully you have a way to get it back. But she is by no means weak. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to, uh, uh, I just want to do a redemption video on her because she is looking a lot better. She is looking a lot better after everything started coming together, right? It was a lot of things to test, um, but I feel much better with her as a hero right now. And obviously she's only gonna be better when she's actually capped out to like a thousand MP. Um, yeah, I just gotta throw some more resources into her. But I think I got a pretty good feel of her and you know her limiting factor. Which is why I'm saying she's going to be highly scalable. There's there's just no way that they're not going to drop a hero in the near future. That is just going to be a straight up crazy MP battery. It's going to happen eventually. Uh, and when this girl has just an infinite pool of mana to throw from. And all of her skills are just on that level. That's, that's going to be something really sweet to see. So, uh, would you have to build a party around it? Sure, probably. Still going to be uh, a freaking awesome party. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Want to support my work? Like, sub, the whole rigmarole. Go ahead and do that for me. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.